Hello, friends. Pastor Ken Graves here. I want to thank all of you who have been fighting with us for religious freedom, for all of you who have been participating in fasting and prayer. Upon the announcement that the Supreme Court was going to take up our case on the 13th of May, we continue to pray. We continue to seek the Lord. And we have, at the same time, received some indication that things may not happen as quickly as we wish. Not that anything has when it comes to this fight. In petitions like ours, seldom granted by the Supreme Court, it is not unusual for governors like ours to waive their need to file a response to our petition since most of the time these petitions are denied. But in this case, the Supreme Court has required a response from the Mills administration, then allowed them two weeks to file that response in light of all of that. It remains possible that our matter would be continued until after the Supreme Court's summer break. We really aren't in control of any of that. We will just have to leave that all in the hands of God. But we appreciate all of you who labor in fasting and prayer together with us. And this fight remains a fight for us to win. We have received indication, <clears throat> and I think some things will soon become public um, with regard to some of the significant wins that Liberty Council has experienced nationally. And with those wins, we have every reason to believe that we have crossed the, what I, I guess we would call the beginning of the end of this fight for now. I actually do believe victory is in sight. That it is necessary <clears throat> for us to contend for our religious freedom. It remains necessary for us to be vigilant and to work with the law. And the United States Constitution still grants the power to make law to the people through their elected representatives. The, uh, the current practice of calling executive orders laws, the current practice of using executive orders to violate law is, um, is something that we will soon see come to an end. So carry on, please, with us in fasting and prayer. Pray for Liberty Council and all such organizations that continue to remain vigilant to protect those freedoms. It really does matter that the Word of God may have free course. It is necessary for, I believe, the Church in America to come to the place of realizing that we have one king, and that king is Jesus Christ. We are members of and citizens of a republic, but we are at the same time subjects of one sovereign, one, and that is Jesus Christ, and he is the head of his church, and our allegiance belongs to him first. Let us render to Caesar what is Caesar's. I say to you, let us not render unto Caesar what is God's. Grace and peace to all of you.